what's up YouTube world we are here today we are fast times in Texas my name is Brian and this is Mia Julia. and this is our very first video uh, what we are here to do today is to show you that someone like myself an older gentleman or a younger lady can change the oil on a vehicle uh, we all know that we typically depend on places to do this for us but it is something that any of us can do right here at home that is the premise of our channel uh, we want to put the word out there to you that anybody can do the basic things on their vehicle at home for a lot cheaper than you would at a store uh, we are sponsored by Napa we do have the uh, oil filter we have the oil and we have the drip pan uh, if you like what we're doing here today we would really appreciate it if you could like subscribe and spread this video far and wide that really helps us uh, it helps us to further what we're trying to do and hopefully what we're trying to do helps you okay folks here we are and we are set up with everything that we're gonna need to perform this oil change I'm gonna have Mia go ahead and list off all the things that we have here what do we have first first we have the crawler and if we don't have a crawler what can we do we can use a piece of cardboard or a piece of blank old blanket Sure, anything that's going to keep you off the ground, keep you from getting dirty. Also, of course, wear older clothes because, of course, we're going to get under the car and we're going to get a little bit dirty, but that's okay because we're doing it ourselves. What's next? The next thing is some oil from Napa. Right of course, here. you got to have the oil, right? We got to change the oil. That's what we need. What else do we have? The next thing is the jack. There you go. The jack stands are just going to be kind of a secondary safety measure just in case the jack fails, just to prevent the car from coming down on top of you, which of course would be bad. So what else do we have? Another thing is the filter, which is also from Napa, and the oil filter wrench. That way we can get that filter off of there. What and, else do we have? And the cat. That's going to catch all your oil, and once you've, uh, once you've accrued all the old oil, you're just going to take that down to Napa, and they will dispose of it for you. What else do we have? And we have some basic tools right here. We've got some sockets, we've got some wrenches, nothing too, uh, nothing too high tech, just some basic stuff. And then if you want to keep your hands from getting dirty, we're going to go ahead and have some gloves here just in case. All right, folks, so here we are. We are now under the car, and you want to have your jack positioned under the frame of the vehicle it's kind of like the skeleton it's going to be very sturdy and it's not going to damage your vehicle by putting the jack there and it's going to keep it in a stable position so right now we have Mia operating the jack and elevating the vehicle off of the pavement all right folks here we are and we are going to find a stable portion of the vehicle with which to put the jack stand under we're going to jack it up and then we're going to place the jack stands underneath for added stability Now that we are here, we're going to go ahead and place the jack stand underneath. As you can see folks, Mia is now jacking up the vehicle and it's something that a 10 year old can do. So I'm sure that we can all do this at home. It's just about putting it in the proper place and then going through the motions. there and we've got our jack stand ready to go just to keep it in the proper position we don't want anything falling on us
Okay, so we now have the car jacked up and we have the jack stand in place to prevent the car from coming down on top of us while we're underneath changing the oil. Um, it's just an added safety measure. Obviously, we have the jack, but the jack stand is sort of a, a, a backup plan just to make sure we're safe. And now we're going to go ahead and, and do the other side. All right, folks, so as you can see, we have both of our jack stands in place. And then as a fail safe, we have our lifting jack here um, as a third pillar to prevent the car from coming down on top of us. So we know we're safe going underneath. And that's where we're at. This is uh, Mia Yueliang's papa. So these videos are with my daughter and Brian. Brian's a really cool guy. I like Brian. I like him to be the presenter. Um, we didn't finish up the job because of the batteries and and the last video footage didn't go through right. It didn't come out. It was too dark. So now I got plenty of light. I'm going to try to finish up here. Um, the bolt that goes to the oil right here, this bolt is not in all the way. So I'll zoom in on that to show you. And we spilled oil everywhere. So that's the bolt right there. And you see how it's out? So the oil came out. All Almost all the oil that we put in. It's all over the ground here. There's oil everywhere. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tighten up this bolt. And that will be finishing up the job. But there's also the oil filter. And uh, this is a 15 millimeter uh, socket that I'm using. I'm trying to hold one hand and do it at the same time. Okay, I'm going to stop the video and see if I can get a better grip on this. Can you see it? Yeah. Should be able to do it by hand. Nope. Not loose enough. Uh oh, I lost where it is. Okay, there it is. Okay, loosen up the bolt. Oil's gonna come out. And there we go. Oh, the oil's dirty still, so it needed a real oil flush. So even though we put new oil in, that oil is blacker than black. That's crazy. Fresh new oil and it's still black. Well, we had to do the oil change again anyways. Can you see the oil coming out? Yes. It should be over here. It looks brown. Now you're blocking it. There we go. Okay, so you drain all the oil out. This bolt, you're supposed to line up this bolt and the threads correctly. And if you don't do that, then that's what happens, is you're not able to tighten the bolt all the way. So you got to have a lot of good light to see what you're doing. It may look like it's going in, but it's not threaded all the way. And that happens. Okay, basically we're going to let that drip for a while. It is at an angle. So all the oil is going to come down to that point. It's jacked up. And that's the way uh, GM designed this because they know most people don't have lifts in their garages. So they know you're going to do stuff with jacks. And so when you jack up the front of the car, it's at an angle. And all the oil is going to come down at that angle. So now the cars don't have that. They're... they're kind of like that they're angled a little bit but they still come out easier 
because a lot of people do these on lifts at the garage or the auto mechanic shop. Okay, we're gonna let that pour out and we'll come back. It'll be maybe three or four hours later. Um, that should be most of it. Most people do it for a day. I just need a couple hours. I'm gonna move this bucket. Uh, dispose of the oil at your local uh, Napa store and we want to say uh, shout out to Napa thank you Napa on Marbach in San Antonio Danny is the manager and Torque is the uh, district manager they're, they're uh, supporting us on this channel and sponsoring uh, the oil the oil filter and uh, we're greatly appreciative of that it's been a while so here's the bolt and we're gonna try to thread it correctly that's the hard part getting it threaded correctly hopefully these threads are not stripped if they're stripped it's not gonna thread correctly no matter what it looks like it's going in correctly but I have no idea yeah this bolt might be stripped Okay, yes, this was threaded incorrectly. It's supposed to be at an angle to the oil pan. So when you try to use a socket, the socket is going to push against the cover. Okay, we're putting in the bolt. We can't use a socket and a ratchet because the ratchet will press against this cover and then it'll push the bolt to where it's straight instead of sideways at an angle where it lines up with the oil pan so it's probably stripped already but we're gonna try it but it should line up with the oil pan kind of at an angle sideways I'm gonna try to get it started that way but I think it's already stripped Let's cross our fingers and hope not. Try to put it in finger tight as much as possible. And get an open wrench, open-ended wrench, and tighten it that way. It's a 15 millimeter wrench, just like the 15 millimeter socket. And see how that bolt is sideways now. It's not straight up and down. So it's, yeah, it's a lot further than last time, but still not. It's still not. Uh, it's getting too tight. So I think it's uh, stripped. But it's okay as long as we get it as tight as possible, even though it's stripped. Hopefully no oil comes out. And then uh, I'm going to have to replace the uh, oil pan and the bolt. Just fine. That's an old car. Probably needs a whole new oil pan. Get all that out. But what you can do is you can put a rubber grommet to the same width and put it in there like a crush washer, act, acting like a crush washer, and then tighten it that way, and that'll work. Okay, that's it. We're signing off. All right, folks. I'm sorry. Do you, you want to count it down? No, go ahead. All right, folks. Here we are, and we are going to find a stable portion of the vehicle with which to put the jack stand under we're going to jack it up and then we're going to place the jack stands underneath for added stability
Now that we are here, we're going to go ahead and place the jack stand underneath. All right, folks, we are here about to put the finishing touches on our oil change. We have just one last step, and that is putting in the fresh oil. So Mia is going to go ahead and take the cap off. And as she finishes that, we'll put that to the side. Then we're going to go ahead and add our funnel in so we don't spill any oil. And we have our fresh Napa oil here ready to go in. We'll take the cap off of there and there we go. Of course keeping your oil changed is super important if you want to extend the life of your vehicle. Always a good idea and it's always something that's even better when you can do it at home. And if what we are doing here is helping you out, we appreciate that and we would ask you to like and subscribe to the video and please share this far and wide. Uh, you helping us is us helping you. We are almost there. And keep in mind, Mia is 10 years old and she is changing the oil on an 84 Corvette. How cool is that? This car is thirsty. And we hope to bring you more content in the future. So please come see us again. And one more time, we are Fast Times in Texas. Check us out. Like, subscribe, hit the notification buttons. I think we got it. There we go. Go ahead and take the funnel out and put that cap back on. Ten years old. Just changed the oil. Want to say bye, Mia? Bye. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Okay, so we have now changed our oil on the 84 Corvette, and Mia is going to hop in and start this thing up. Here we go, folks. Just turn it all the way. folks 10 years old changed the oil fired it up sounds like a monster you want to say anything mia i don't know 
It's your first oil change. Season one, episode one. <laughs> it was hard, wasn't it? Yes, and it took a long time. It took a long time, but you did it, right? All right, good job. Good job, guys. Fast times in Texas. Fast times in Texas. See y'all next time.